This is the Bali that tourists flock to see. But this year, the tiny island will be besieged by more than 10 million visitors, almost three times the local population. It's a huge stress on resources, for land to build hotels and private villas, for water to service them, and for somewhere to put all the rubbish. Environmental activist Moko is taking me to a site that's not on the tourist trail. Jadi ini namanya gunung apa nih? Ini gunung sampah. Kalau zaman dulu anak-anak bisa mungkin menggambar mataharinya tumbuh dari balik gunung dan gunungnya warnanya hijau, mungkin hari ini gunungnya adalah gunung sampah. Many thousands of cubic meters of waste is dumped here every day. The toxic runoff filters into the groundwater, which is the source of much of South Bali's drinking water. Artinya kita sedang secara langsung diracuni oleh uh, tumpukan sampah ini. Kita... With no real action by the government to address the garbage problem, Australian Mike O'Leary formed a foundation to promote environmentally sustainable development. It's a small effort, but one he hopes will eventually lead to a change in mindset. So here you can see we, we do uh, many waste management and pickups, beach cleanups and stuff. Everyone in the local community is allowed to drop their waste here if they want. So here we teach the importance of separation to your plastic recyclables, your plastic non-recyclables, paper, cardboard, metals. For O'Leary, garbage is not the only problem. He says Bali's development is based on exploitation. So that's the Ritz Carlton? Yeah, that's the Ritz Carlton. It just goes on and on and on. And you've got like 3,000 underpaid workers here living in shanty towns. Come on, we'll go in. See how, see how they live. Yeah, this is like something back in the dark ages. These million, billion dollar deals and you don't think that they could look after them a little bit better? Have a look at the waste under here. His foundation also runs a micro-project teaching traditional weaving. It's an attempt to address the lack of opportunity for those without the education and language skills to find employment in the booming tourism sector. Dulu saya penanam rumput laut. Hmm. Tapi karena sekarang udah e, banyak proyek e, rumput lautnya enggak aktif lagi, udah rusak semua. Karena apa? Karena limbah-limbah dari hotel itu e, terbuang ke laut. E, semua karang-karang rumput lautnya itu semuanya mati. Many Balinese now believe that keeping culture and tradition strong could well be their last defense. Every year, hundreds gather at this sacred temple to pay homage to their ancestors. Possessed by their spirits, some enter a deep trance. Ceremonies like this cement key Balinese values of living in harmony with each other, with God, and with the natural world. The holy water sprinkled on devotees plays a vital ceremonial role. This gift from the gods is also a crucial life-giving force in this rice-based culture. Water for rice paddies is delivered through this ancient and very efficient canal system called the Subak. It's so important to Balinese culture, it was World Heritage listed in 2012, because with all the development, it's under threat. Kalau tidak ada air, otomatis kita akan mati semua. Gitu. Tolong sumber air, mata air itu, jangan semua diambil, dinaikkan untuk menjadi dijual. Hotel -hotel. Itu, uh, kami. Di atas 
di atas ada banyak hotel? Banyak juga, banyak di atas, banyak hotel. Sehingga mata air kita ini sudah diambil, sudah dinaikkan sebagian. Gitu. Nah kalau bisa, yang sekian itu jangan diambil lagi. Gitu. The water in this canal irrigates almost 50 hectares of communal rice paddy. The competition for water is one thing. Keeping productive land in Balinese hands is another. Rather than constantly struggling against developers, many farmers simply sell their land to them. With prices skyrocketing a thousand percent in the past five years, it's hard to resist. We're very glad to see you here at the second Indonesian Hotel Investment Conference. The response has grown for each year, I think as the property market is, continues to grow in Bali. Welcome to the stage, please, if you would, Ibu Wiryanti Sukamdani. Sukamdani is owner of a hotel chain, a member of parliament, and head of the Indonesian Hotel and Restaurant Association. Our target for the foreign tourists in uh, 2014 is 9.3 million. Bali is always very interesting because it's going to be 67 new hotels. I don't know anymore where those hotels will be, will be built, you know, because we don't have rice field anymore. There are many here today that have cashed in on Bali's tourism boom. But former tourism minister Igede Ardika tries to sound a warning. The tourism industry don't be greedy. He reminds the conference of the United Nations Millennium Goals set for Indonesia. Basically what the UN expect from us is shift of paradigm in development. Applying UN goals to limit development seems like a lost cause. There is no better example than the Banoa Bay Land Reclamation Project in the heart of the tourist south. It's a controversial plan to dredge the bay, then build and develop nine islands in an integrated tourism park over 800 hectares. Gendo Swadana is leading a coalition opposed to the development. Seperti ini master plannya. Hotel villa, 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 villa apung, villa apung, villa, villa, hotel resort, hotel resort, apartemen, apartemen, perdagangan, mall, mall, ya, kemudian K ini baru kantor, ini perdagangan, ini G, kami curigai golap. Tapi dia bilang ini lahan hijau. We need jobs. We need new icons of tourism in Bali. Bali's governor Made Pastika, who as police chief played a key role investigating the Bali bombings, is an enthusiastic supporter of the land reclamation. We have to widen our area. We have to widen. That's a must. Everywhere in this world they are doing that. Singapore. Hong Kong. I don't think Australia also, I think. E e even though Australia is still very wide. But everybody want to, to widen their area. Why not? As long as it's not against the environmental, uh, uh, it, it cannot, uh, it, it will not damage the environment. But Banoa Bay is a designated conservation area. So there's a push to get the president to sign a regulation removing that status. Caranya adalah ubah dia dari kawasan konservasi ke pemanfaatan umum. Dan ini yang paling berbahaya bulan-bulan ini. Hmm. Karena ada agresivitas luar, luar biasa dari pemerintah. Sekarang ini. Ya, sekarang ini untuk mengubah kawasan konservasi menjadi kawasan pemanfaatan umum. Mereka mau mengubah perpres. And even within the tourism and development community, there's concern about the project. But the point is, you know, that it's damaging the environment, you know, so that's not the answer. The answer to me is that you have to uh, really control the building, control how many hotels, how many rooms, you know, without damaging the environment. So by, by reclaim, it, that's only, only damage. 
Governor Made Pastika has been the subject of intense criticism because of an open letter he wrote three years ago calling for a moratorium on hotel construction in South Bali. Some of your critics say that you broke your own rules by then supporting some some hotel development projects. What would you no, say? No, no, I never broke my break my my rule. I never uh, allow people uh, building new accommodations. You know, especially in the southern part of Bali. You know that letter is an appeal. I don't have the authority to stop that. He he doesn't do uh, what what he already promised on what he already planned in the area. Uh, which is supposed to be preserved, then he give a license to build a new one. So, I mean, this is really not consistent, you know, inconsistent. But in this plush hotel owned by the main developer behind Banoa Bay, I find a vocal supporter of the project. Yeah. Businessman Made Manku says reclamation goes on in plenty of other places like Queensland. So why not here? Sama seperti Gold Coast yang ada di Australia, di mana juga Australia juga mereklamasi Gold Coast. Tetapi daerah itu kenapa juga tidak diteliti lebih mendalam kemudian ada nggak cara yang lain untuk tidak mereklamasi? Kenyataannya Gold Coast menjadi luar biasa, menjadi bagus banget. Kita harus membangun pak, ya kita tidak boleh tidak membangun. Tetapi apakah Bali kemudian kalau ada orang-orang yang tidak setuju untuk Bali ini dibangun, kita ini akan terus seperti ini. Kita akan terus menjadi orang yang keterbelakang. Kita akan terus akan menjadi orang miskin. Just a few days after this interview, a presidential regulation was issued, removing the conservation area status and allowing so-called revitalization in Banoa Bay. The brand new toll road has just opened and will get visitors from the airport to their floating villa in no time at all. Around the southern part of the bay, the area to be most affected, the protest flags are flying. This is our story here. Mm -hmm. Dive and marine sports operator I Nyoman Sugita only set up shop here three years ago. He's now facing ruin. This is gonna kill my business. It's gonna kill it. It's not just only my business. It's still a ton of the local uh, economy uh, yeah. sector. Like they're gonna kill all the reef, the fish, the coral. It's all gone. It's gonna destroy it, this area. He says the secrecy surrounding the project is unacceptable. Until now, they never show up, never talk to me personally, and what they want to build it is gonna impact to my little business here or not. Yeah, I just thinking about the future of Bali. Every year we have more than 25,000 students from the university. They will graduate, they will need jobs, and where are they going to do that? But for many, stopping people selling their land is the key issue. Um, we're going to see this guy, Sayur, uh, who is an artist. Activists Wayan and his colleague Phyllis Kaplan, who are working to protect the rice farmers, are taking me to meet one landowner who's holding out against developers. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye -bye. I love the paintings. <laughs> yeah. Especially what it says here in relationship between money, uh -huh. development, and yeah. farmers. Mm -hmm. Can we see some more of the paintings? Yeah. 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 Please. Sayur's paintings are a plea from the bugs and the animals to not build on productive land. Jadi, dia ibarat ada kodok, ada bebek, yang semuanya itu adalah perwakilan dari makhluk-makhluk yang sawah yang kini mempertanyakan ketika villa telah datang terus profesi petani sekarang sudah berubah menjauh ya, ibarat dia mempertanyakan itu ya ini he's best known for one bold art installation he put up this huge sign on his own block sawah adalah pertahanan terakhir saya jadi 
Makanya not for sale itu saya dirikan. Uh-huh. Makasih banyak ya. With a rapidly growing domestic market and a surge in Chinese packaged tourism, Bali's boom seems set to continue. We Balinese should take the move uh, to save Bali. If not us, who else? If not now, when? Uh, before, before it's too late. Bali is so small and we don't have time to play, playing around.